Okay, this is for year 11 methods. It's question number 23 in 9F about conditional probability. In a certain school, 35% of 500 boys, so it's 35% of 500, so 175 boys, and 40% of 400 girls, so 160 girls, enjoy bushwalking. One student in the school is chosen at random. Let G represent that she is a girl and B represent the fact that they like bushwalking. So I'm going to use a Venn diagram to represent this information because I've got boys and girls. So this is going to be girls and there's going to be 100, uh, 400 of them. And this is going to be boys, which is not girls, and there's going to be 500 of them. <coughs> the other event I have is bushwalking. So I'm going to have a circle which has bushwalking. And I know that of the 400 girls, 160 of them like bushwalking, and 175 boys like bushwalking. That gives me 325 boys not liking bushwalking, and 240 girls not liking bushwalking. OK. Probability of G. <coughs> G is... Um, 400 out of a total of 900. So 400 over 900 or 4 ninths. Probability of a bushwalker given that she is a girl. So it's going to be the probability of bushwalking intersect girl over the probability of girl. The bushwalking intersection of girls is 160 over 900. And probability of being a girl is 400 over 900. 160 on 400, which is <coughs> two fifths. Probability of bushwalking intersect girl. Probability of bushwalking intersect girl is this here because that's a bushwalker and a girl. So the probability of bushwalker intersect girl will be 160 over 900. Which is 8 45ths. Probability of um, bushwalker intersect not girl or bushwalker intersect boy which will be 175 on 900 which is 7 on 36 part b find the probability of a bushwalker well a bushwalker is this 175 and this 160 so 175 plus 160 all over 900 which should be 67 on 180 and that brings me to the last two questions part c which is the probability of our girl given that they bushwalk so it's conditional i'll use the rule and the rule will say it's the probability of girl intersect bushwalk over the probability of bushwalk which would be girl intersect bushwalk is 160 on 900 divided by probability of Bushwalk, which is 335 on 900, 160 on 335, which is 32 on 67. And lastly, the probability of girl given not bushwalk will be the probability of girl intersect not bushwalk over the probability of not bushwalk. Girl intersect not bushwalk is this one, so 240 on 900 over not bushwalk will be this plus this, therefore 565 over 900, which gives you 240 on 565, which equals 32 on 67. Just want to double check, this should be 67 on 180, sorry. <coughs> okay, 
I've used the rule to work out all these conditional probabilities. I could actually use um, looking to work out this one. This one says they must be bushwalkers. Since they must be bushwalkers, this is now my universal set. This is what it's out of. It's out of threes, 335. And the probability that you're a girl is 160 out of this total of 335. And that's where we ended up with at that point there. If I was to try and consider this situation, what I have is I must be a non-bushwalker. So I'm now out of these two because they're the total of my non-bushwalkers. That gives me 565. To be a girl, I've got to be on this side, so 240 out of 565. So sometimes with the conditionals and a Venn diagram or a probability table, you can see the conditional, but the rule will always work.